It's the most wonderful time of the year. Football is in the minds of everyone watching and thinking about when football will be back on television. It's the most wonderful time of the year. I get so excited. Yeah, today the the schedule's being dropped. I did take singing lessons in grad school. I sang Luck Be a Lady from Guys and Dolls, which I sucked at, but I like to sing. The problem is nobody wants to hear this guy sing ever. Even the shower sometimes cries when I sing. Though I think dogs sometimes come to me, but I think they, it's more like a dog whistle. They're drawn to it. It's this high, piercing, annoying noise. Well, as you can see on my Instagram page right now, during my live broadcast, the Jets start the Aaron Rodgers era, which they said he is locked in this year. They're saying he's locked in. Well, he's in New York. He was a championship here. He's God forever. Against the Bills. And Josh Allen will be going against, for the first time, who's he going against? With Jalen Hurts. And Jalen Hurts is going to go, go against Tua this year. They don't have all the schedule out, but they put out some piecemeal stuff. I thought that was pretty cool. Yeah, Hurts, first career matchup. Tua versus Jalen, first in the NFL meeting the NFL first time this season. And there was a cool thing I saw on Instagram. Oh, and the Cowboys are playing Thanksgiving against the Commanders. The last time they played on Thanksgiving, Cowboys lost 41-16 back in 2020. I love Thanksgiving. Greatest. And you know, we have Black Friday the day after. The Jets will host the Dolphins on Black Friday. And what Franklin Myers said, what, no shopping? thought that was kind of funny. So from track and field to the NFL, Texas Tech's Gabe, Gabe Oladipo broke records as an All-American thrower on the track team that decided to play football. Now he is in training camp. He's a training camp invite with the Steelers. Yeah. Someone said, can my guy play some D-line? I mean, he, he's a discus thrower, so you know he's strong. New offensive lineman, 875 pounds, 875 pounds squat. Now, I, I like press over 11. Squat's a different beast. Wow. That's strong. He arrived at Texas Tech as a thrower on the track and field team and immediately began breaking school records. He's a big dude. He is a, he is a very, very... Oh, man. Screen went, screen went blanky. He is a very, very big dude. I'm trying to get the pictures. Just looking at some pictures of him. Let's, let's be honest. I mean, this is a big dude. That's a big dude. Big, big dude. Uh, so he, as I said, he broke numerous school records, won multiple Big 12 titles. It was an All-American. He won bronze in the weight throw at the national title meet. 6'2", 295, and, 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 and a solid 295. His eyes caught the eyes of Texas Tech fans who called on him to play football. 2021 video, squatting 875 pounds, went viral, racking up 17 million views. The calls for him to play football grew louder. The next fall, who hadn't played football since high school, walked on to the football team, followed in the footsteps of his father, came to the U.S. from Nigeria on a track scholarship, then played football at Washington State. He served on the scout team in 2022, but still attended, tech, still attended Tech's NFL Pro Day and repped 29 reps on the bench press at 225. He ran a 4.9740, which would have ranked seventh among defensive tackles at the NFL Combine. The Steelers noticed. He ended his college career with zero snaps played, but he's on his way to Pittsburgh for an NFL training camp. That's amazing. So, Gabe, I am rooting for you going forward. So, congrats on that front. Yeah, we got football, man. Hey, how about that? Rogers debut. And I also, you know, they, you know, they always have interesting football stuff for the, the Jet. I told you, yeah, he's upset about that. He Franklin Myers is upset that, you know, he can't go shopping on Black Friday. Well, when it was, but that's okay. And Wilson, Garrett Wilson has ascended to the top tier of receivers. According to, to telemetry, to telemetry sports, he ranked 41st out of 159 qualified players in receiver separation, a score that is derived from microchip data from NFL Next Generation Stats to measure how much separation is created from the nearest defender in man coverage, which you got to get separation. That's a good ranking, especially for a rookie. It signals that he's on his way to taking the next step, and he's got a quarterback now but he'll have to do it next season by sharpening his route running and his ability to pro process coverages, which I, I'm, I don't think we have to worry about that. He's going to get it done. 
But I thought that was a stat that, for Jet fans, gets everybody a little excited. Giants and Eagles announced for Christmas Day at the link, December 25th, 430 on Fox. Last year, they lost 48-22 in Week 14 to the Eagles. They lost 22-16 in Week 18, where everybody sat in division around. Eagles beat them 38-7. Yeah, I mean, you got Darren Waller, linebacker Bobby Okereke, wide receiver Paris Campbell, the first-round cornerback Deontay Banks, which I don't think we're realistic. I think Eagles are stacked, and we'll see what happens going forward. But exciting, right? I mean, that's exciting. Got the Giants, you know, and Giants will host. I still remember, yeah, Giants, Cowboys. It seems like that's every week one. Well, they'll host the Cowboys Sunday Night Football week one. That's exciting. Eagles are going to host the Niners December 3rd, 125, week 13. Could be flexed, I think, by then. Shaq Mason with the Texans, a three-year, $36 million contract extension. The former Patriot. Got to show up that line. You need Bryce Young to be protected. Oh, I'm sorry, C.J. Stroud. Lamar was out of the Ravens' voluntary offseason workouts after signing his new deal. Maybe he's doing his own shit. Who knows? He's in Florida. Chiefs will host the Raiders, the Nickmas game, which will air on Nickelodeon CBS on Christmas. Chiefs, Detroit, Thursday, September 7th. That is the first game of the season. Chiefs will host Detroit. That game I'm excited for. I want to see Dan Campbell. I want to see what the, you know, I mean, you got Jamar Gibbs. You got Goff. You have uh, the deep. I mean, oof. You know, I mean, that's uh, that's that's going to be. You know, and I, was, and I was blanking on the goddamn. You know, what I was blanking on is who, who's the who's the rookie Michigan rookie on on the Lions, Michigan rookie on Lions, Michigan on Lions. I can't. I'm blanking on names, dude. And I, I see his face. Yeah, Detroit Lions. Yeah, Aiden Hutchinson. 